Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. One of the most significant elections of our lifetime is happening today. And how important that it is that you do go and exercise the duty of every citizen of the United States of America, that is to vote. And when you vote as a believer, as a Christian, it's important for you to vote the Bible. What do you mean by that? I mean to vote the principles of God's word. So when you are entering into the booth and you're going to make your selections, understand that it is righteousness that exalts a nation. It's also the fact that when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. It's important to understand that the Bible is full of principles that are important in order for a nation to be able to be governed correctly and to be able to have generations after them be able to enjoy the life that God has given to us by his grace. I encourage you to do that today. And in light of that, regardless of what the outcome may be, it's important that we understand as Christians, as believers, we are to pray for those that are in the leadership. So whoever may be going into the offices that are elected today, whether it be the White House or Congress, whatever that it may be, I would encourage you to pray for those leaders like you never have before. We're in a very volatile time, of course, around the world. And the United States and its stability is critical even for other nations. And I encourage you to be able to pray for the leaders of our country and those that will be elected today and beyond. In light of that, you can look into the book of Daniel and see what the future is going to be. That regardless of what takes place, and I emphasize this to you because you can go back and watch this past Sunday's message and it can bring you more insight into uh, how we should respond and how we should look into the future for things. From the book of Daniel, it tells us so clearly that regardless of what the administration may be, Daniel stood strong on the principles of God and his word and understood how he was to respond in the time that he was living. Though he was living in Babylon, in a captive place, he was only captivated by God Almighty. And he reminds us in the interpretation of the vision that King Nebuchadnezzar had, that one day, regardless of what the empires may come and fall, those that are in leadership, they come and they go, but God's word will, will remain. There is a God in heaven, and you need to know that one day, according to the very dream that King Nebuchadnezzar had and he interpreted, Daniel did, that there is a stone that will be hewn out of the mountain and he will crush the nations and the governments of the world and God Almighty will establish his kingdom and of his kingdom there shall be no end. I can assure you that God is in control of all things. So today, keep looking towards heaven as he is imminently about to return and keep sowing the seeds of righteousness and reaching others for the cause of Christ because there is a kingdom coming and that kingdom belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us today. Do your civic duty and vote, and then let's pray and believe God for our future. Till the next time we get together around God's Word, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon. <laughs>